Today we're talking about presets. I'm gonna tell you about three presets that you need for your photography to make sure that you have all your bases covered and to make sure that you'll have the best chances of success. Let's go right into it. The first preset that you need is something natural. When I say natural, I mean very true to color. And that means basically, so for example, if I'm talking about my sweater and this sweater is pink, I want it to be pink. I don't want it to be red. I don't want it to be like a different shade of pink. I want it to be as close to pink as possible as it is in real life. So having a natural preset is really important because you're gonna see that a lot of people like this because it keeps you know, their dress or their makeup or whatever they're wearing having true to color because it's what they see already. It's not based on subjectiveness. It's not based on what likes and what someone doesn't like. It's usually the best option to have. Number two, you're gonna need a black and white preset. A black and white preset is really useful, just like the natural one, because black and white is the next step down, in my opinion at least, for having the next best preset. A lot of people like the noir, they, they like the very light white and black, or the very dark and like gloomy, and with like the moody dark and black as well. You're gonna see having a really good preset like this is really useful because you're gonna have a lot of people really gravitate towards this as well, especially because it makes it look very fancy and very luxurious as well, and it's very easy to make it work. The next one is a retro preset, and I say this kind of with an asterisk because the retro preset, especially now, is really in trend because a lot of people like Polaroids, a lot of people like film. It's a very big trend and retro preset is probably gonna be one of your most used, at least right now, especially if you're trying to go for a certain vibe because a lot of people are gravitating towards that. So this kind of is basically like, it has a little bit more grain that you add in actually, or you can even leave it out if you want, but it has very a filmy look. So more browns, more like, it's more dull sometimes. And also it has more like vignetting and more like old camera kind of features in it. So you're gonna see that this is really useful to have because it'll give you a very certain vibe and if you just change certain parts of the preset, you can really create some really cool effects. And this is just even with a DSLR or mirrorless camera. So you can do it as digital. You don't have to actually to shoot film, but if you want to shoot film, then by all means go ahead as well. Now the next few presets I'm gonna say are just different ones that you can do artistically, but you don't really have to. The first one is the highlight one. You make everything black and white in this preset, but if you have a certain color, in the photo, for example, if I'm wearing a blue jacket or if I'm wearing the pink or if I'm wearing a red jacket, you would take all the colors out and you'd leave the certain color of like, let's say the hoodie or the shirt I'm wearing. And that would be your like main highlight of the photo. And it kind of gravitates the eye towards that. So that's a really useful preset because it's a really cool effect, especially with like uniforms for players and stuff. It's really useful and really cool to have. The next one is more of like a neon preset. This one is more so like Brandon Wolfel kind of preset. And this one's more so used for having really good neon aesthetic and this one lets the colors be more bright but subtle like matte almost and they have really good neon and like bright colors especially it just has a certain vibe to it the next one is mostly for my wedding photographers but you know you can use it for pretty much anything if you really want to is the light and airy one these ones have a very light undertone and they're more desaturated so you'll have certain things like green really desaturated so they're not like really vibrant in some cases more like lightly but so you're not having harsh colors you're not having like very oversaturated stuff you're having very more like whites and pure whites on the other hand you can also have a very desaturated preset as well you can have presets that are more everything's toned down so instead of having really vivid colors and stuff where you'd see on like you know billboards for example you'd have something that's more subtle all your set colors are desaturated like under 50 or something like that so that would give you a more desaturated look and you'd have kind of almost like a more filmy look as well that's something that you could really consider too if you want to have a more artistic kind of style and if you want to have more sometimes even more luxurious style as well so that's definitely one of the presets to look into if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button below because it really helps the algorithm and also subscribe because i'm trying to make a lot of these cool videos and i really want you to be along for some of these videos i'm making and if you have social media so for example tiktok instagram twitter and obviously youtube follow me on there and I'll post different ideas there so that you can see and I might put some of them here as well and I really would like to interact with all of you so I really hope you enjoyed thanks for watching peace out bye